briefly. So my name is Derek. I'm 19 years old. I'm from the United States. And before joining Adonis School, I don't know how far back you want me to go, but let's just say like within the same time frame that before I joined, yeah, I had at that point improved my looks to a good amount. I had understood parts of the red pill, um, and I'm not too proud of that. But at the moment, at the time before joining Adonis School, I was already seeing someone. But the issue is she was very feminine and she was what you would consider a high quality female but I wasn't acting like a high quality man or how a man should act to begin with. Like I said, I was very obsessed and in the red pill mindset. Mm -hmm. So I would do things right, like purposely like respond to her texts later, right? Or it's like purposely like keep things hidden. Like I remember before we actually start talking about how we felt about one another, when we were still in like the talking phase, she would be like, do you have a girlfriend? Are you seeing anyone? And I'm just like, maybe I do, maybe I don't, right? Yeah. And like in my mind, I was just doing what the red pill was telling me, leave everything up to mystery and kind of mm-hmm. make her keep guessing and chasing you. And I remember the moment that I started changing was when I joined Adonis school. And the reason why I say that was because obviously now that Hamza shifted his own mindset about relationships, and now that I have access to this community where there are people way more experienced than me, I'm able to consume a lot more knowledge from people who are actually experienced and have seen success themselves, right? And I think one very good example is your masculinity calls, right? Like the way you talk about the psychology behind the reasons why we do what we do and like why we should behave in a certain way over another way, right? Like, oh, don't, 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 don't whine and complain because as a, yeah. as a female, it's very attractive when a man follows orders, when he can take a hit, but he can always get back up, right? Mm-hmm. Like the way you explain everything in autistic detail, it's <laughs> like, like someone can ask you a simple question. Like when I ask out a girl, um, what, what, what should I say? It's like yeah. a simple question like that. You'll give like a 30 minute res- like response to, which yeah. is incredibly amazing. And I think just also just learning about like how to effectively communicate is a big thing. Mm-hmm. I think in the modern day, a lot of us struggle with that. Um, just because either with social anxiety, anxious attachment style, or because being surrounded by the red pill community, But for me, I think the biggest thing I've taken away is just now I'm able to have very effective communications with the person I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Like I can literally be straight up, right? Like I don't feel comfortable when you do this, or I would appreciate it more if you were able to do this or do that, right? And obviously I say in a very respectful manner, I'm not having anything like emotional, like no, like I'm not like sounding upset or anything. I'm just Mm -hmm. monochrome. And like you said, right, being able to have that like, like, it's like the, the mode, the, the stone emoji, right? Yeah. It's like you keep composure. And even from her and I can see in her eyes, it's like, wow, what, what happened? Like what changed? <laughs> right. Um, I can give you an exact example if Please. you want. So I'm a sales coach. Um, me and me and her actually, like I said, run it together and we have a sales team as well, right? Like we have people under us that we manage. And I remember there was a point in the business where everything was super slow. We weren't getting any sales and she was considering hiring someone. Um, and that person, we used to work with them, but that person liked her. Right. And I knew that. And I remember she was like, Oh, like we should, we should get him on the team. He'll be able to help us make so much money. And I'm just like, I completely understand. Um, just so that we're on the same page. Right. Um, I just wanted to understand, you know, what exactly like, where we're currently at in our current relationship because I do want to make sure that you know I'm not getting confused and I'm not taking this you know beyond the jurisdictions of where we're currently at and she's like yeah like I, like I do see you as someone as like a potential you know some like a potential partner and stuff like that and I'm like thank you for letting me know um I just want to ask because if you did let him on the team I'm going to be very honest I would feel very uncomfortable just knowing like what he's truly after and what he really wants. And I'm a guy myself, right? Like I know how this works. And I think it would just make me really anxious and instantly, right? She's like, oh yeah, you know what? It's it's fine. Like, I don't even really want him on the team. Like, yeah, I don't even know I was thinking that. So that really struck home for me. But I just noticed that like once I was able to start communicating more effectively Mm -hmm. and I started to act more masculine, it's kind of like she naturally started leaning towards more of the feminine side, if that makes sense. And I know Hamza talks about this a lot the the fact that like once you start acting like how you're supposed to a woman will naturally go back to her biological or i guess the caveman mind if that makes sense of you know being 
feminine being able to take care of you and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you're one of the, our members who's had like amazing progress inside the school. You're like one, one of the most well-liked, well-known people in the school. Everybody knows you, which I find incredible. Have you ever helped someone else in the school? Because you've been through this progress, this incredible transition from somebody, like you weren't a complete degenerate, right? You were actually quite well, like you started quite well. You just took yourself to the next level, which is quite different to a lot of young guys, isn't it? So have you ever capitalized on that and actually offered help to someone else, maybe through commenting, posting, doing a call? Tell me about that. Absolutely, so in the community, Po uh, posts. I know that you like you drop the comments every month to yeah. like post if you need help. I have had a couple of guys reach out to me, whether it be for fitness or relationship advice. And for me, I just try to give information that is the most applicable to whoever it is I'm trying to help. Like for me, I'm not going to give you a straight answer. I need to know your background first. So like I ask a lot of questions before I actually give you an answer. Mm -hmm. And for me, I mean, I usually just say the same thing because I know a lot of guys fell for the same trap, like I said, of trying to follow the red pill or just trying to chase like instant gratification. In this case, it's just like casual sex. Right. Yeah. And I just tell them truthfully. Right. Because I know for many guys, it's very hard to believe. But a tr like you said, right, like a true high quality female, it's like they're obsessed with you 24 seven. Like mm -hmm. if they respect you and they genuinely value you. They'll take everything you say with consideration, right? It's not like they're going to be like, oh, well, screw you. I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. But the best advice that I've told everyone is just if you keep chasing women, you're going to or if you keep acting desperate towards women, you're going to get desperate women. Yeah. If you act like a high quality man, if you actually do what you're supposed to, eventually you're going to meet that same person who can match your level and then you can go from there. But like I said, I think a lot of guys and I was the same way and I didn't even realize this, but a lot of people are chasing, you know, being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But then it's like by the time they get into a relationship, maybe something doesn't work out too well. And they're just like, damn, I kind of miss being single. Right. And my point is, if you're single, just enjoy the moment while you still have it. I'm not saying obviously stay single, but mm -hmm. enjoy every moment. Right. Be present. And eventually if you progress enough, which most people will, right? If you make enough money, if you go to the gym, if you keep working on your mindset and leveling up, you're eventually going to attract that person. I mean, it's just inevitable at that point. Yeah, 100%. I think you've said it perfectly. I've always been a big, big advocate that young men, especially their priority should always be their purpose. Your purpose will never betray you. You can change your purpose, but your purpose will never backstab you and your purpose will never betray you or affect you negatively in any way because otherwise it wouldn't be your purpose and in that journey is when you will find the high quality feminine woman to be your girlfriend to be your wife the most repulsive thing that a man can do towards a woman is not have a purpose i'm talking about the type of men who sit at home all day they smoke weed they play video games they eat shit they don't exercise they have no mission in life that's the thing that repulses women the most. So for young men, you know, who are probably watching this video, like the biggest action you can take is get off your lazy fucking ass and do something. Find your purpose in life. Like we in Adonis School, we literally have Leon, who is our find your purpose coach. His, his purpose is to help you find your purpose. And that's why I will encourage every single man, if you don't know what your purpose is, find it first. Don't chase women, chase your purpose. Derek, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, bro. Every time you go come on my calls, my day gets brighter because you ask the most interesting, the most engaging questions, and it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time, bro. And as always, I'm excited to see you in my calls.